fighting each other. Okay, Blackett, Sparrow and Walters, you take the buggy from the left flank. Hold and Sparrow and I will go to the gun post. Oh, right, hang on, six eight, you'll never make it, so let's come with you. Do it, old man. Right, old skipper. Oh, sir, sir, if, if we if we don't meet again, sir, I'd just like to say it's been a it's been a real privilege fighting alongside you, sir. Yes, well. Yeah. Yeah. Time or place for goodbye speech, eh? No, no, me and the lads realise that, sir, but well. We may never meet again, sir, so... Yes, all, I... all right, Blackett. Thanks a lot. No, just a moment, sir. sir. See, me and the lads, we've had a little whip around, sir. We brought you something, sir. We brought you this, sir. Oh, well, I don't know what to say. It's a, it's a lovely thought. Thank you. Well, thank you all, sir. But, but I think we better get... Come on, Hey, Tick, sir. We've got something else for you as well, sir. Uh, Sorry, it's another clock, sir. I mean, there was a bit of a mix-up. Uh, Walter thought he was buying a present, and Spadger and I had already got the other one. Well, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> I, I think we'd better get the cover now, oh, sir, and I'll thank you probably later on. Corporal Sturridge got this for you as well, sir. He didn't know about the others, sir. It's Swiss. Oh, well, now that is Corporal Sturridge. Good man. And there's a card, sir, from all of us. Sorry about the blood, sir. Thank you all. Squad, three cheers for Captain Biggs. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'll be all right, sir. Oh, just one other thing, sir. Spadge, give him the check. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, this is really going too far. Oh. I'll be able to find it, sir. Uh, I've been, been number four, Trent. Oh, I'll go twice, sir. Forget it, man. You shouldn't have said that, sir. You've hurt his feelings now. Don't mind me, Splash. Toft is all the same. One minute's all please and thank you. The next I'll kick you in the teeth. Yeah. Oh. Let's not give him the cake. I don't want any cake. Look, Blackett cooked especially for you, you bastard. Yeah, he saved his rations for six weeks, sir. No, I don't mean to be ungrateful. Yeah. I'll be all... Ah! Blackett! Blackett! Look at him. He worked on that cake like no one else I've ever known. Some nights it was so cold we could hardly move, but Black would be out there slicing the lemons, mixing the sugar and the almonds. I mean, you tried trying to get butter to melt at 15 degrees below zero. There's love in that cake. This man's love, and this man's care, and this... Oh, oh my Christ! You bastard! All right, we will eat the cake. They're right, it's, it's too good a cake not to eat. Get the plates and knives, Walters. Yes, sir. How many plates? Six. Ah! Ah! Yeah. No, better make it five. Tablecloth, sir? Yes, get the tablecloth. Ah! No, 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 no. I'll, I'll get the tablecloth. And better get the gangling table hot. Ah! And the little mat, sir. Yes. Oh, and while you're at it, better get a doily. I'll bring food for in case you want rice. Scruple. OK. Well, of course, warfare isn't all fun. Right, stop that. It's all very well to laugh at the military, but when one considers the meaning of life, it is a struggle between alternative viewpoints of life itself. And without the ability to defend one's own viewpoint against other, perhaps more aggressive ideologies, then reasonableness and moderation could quite simply disappear. That is why we'll always need an army. And may God strike me down were it to be otherwise. <laughs>